Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is my 1000 subscriber special Q&A. So I asked my followers on Instagram what questions they wanted to ask me. It could be anything running related, not running related. Um, and this is what they've sent in. So I've picked some of the best ones um, and I'm going to answer them today. It's not going to be a really long video, just hopefully some quick fire questions. Um, and yeah, let's get into this. So I really I really apologise if I butcher anyone's names and get them wrong. But the first question is from Eleanor Hall and she has asked, what's your favourite race distance and have you done a marathon? So my favourite race distance is half marathon by far. I don't know what it is, I just like the um, the length of it. It's like a nice race distance, you're not, not feeling like pain straight from the get-go with some of the shorter stuff. Um, and also there's a bit more kind of tactics involved with um, like some race nutrition um, gels, things like that. Um, and no, I haven't done a marathon. Um, this does lead into another question where someone, um, Petriolska, I don't know if that's your full name, um, has asked, are you interested in running the marathon? And the answer is yes. I haven't run the marathon yet, and I, but I do definitely plan on running the marathon at some point in the near future. I'm currently 20 years old, but I don't plan on touching the marathon until I'm at least 24, 25. So hopefully that answers your question. But you will see some marathon videos on this channel just not within the next couple of years. So Matthew Bawtree has asked, if you only had one running shoe for every single type of run, what would you use and why? So no hesitation in this choice. I would use the Nike Invincible. I think this shoe is just a, a really good shoe. I do my long runs, my easy runs. I don't do any sessions in it, but that's purely because there's better shoes out there. But if I could only use one shoe, that'd be the shoes I would use because they would just protect the joints keep me nice and kind of injury free um, and just allow me to keep running those high mileage um, runs because they're the shoes at the moment that get me through those those extra miles um, and yeah so comfortable absolutely love them the Nike Zoom X Invincible runs if you haven't tried them definitely recommend so Reese Dawson has asked will you do any trail running or maybe something like a, a race abroad or an ultra marathon so I actually really love trail running um, I quite often go into the woods um, and like just today I did um a 10 mile run through the woods got absolutely plastered in mud but i absolutely loved it i'd much prefer 10 miles through the muddy conditions um than the road um just down to kind of like the seafront or something definitely um trail running um in terms of trail racing has never been something that i've kind of got into i like um being able to compare like times and stuff and i think with trail races it's a bit hard because it, there's so many different factors that can affect it races abroad definitely planning on doing that at some point in the future whether it's something like a marathon abroad half marathon abroad um I may be looking at doing something like the Barcelona half marathon next year, potentially. Um, but we'll see. It's all just up in the air at the moment. It's a long way to long way away. And ultra marathons, again, definitely will attempt an ultra marathon at some point in my life. Um, but definitely not in the next kind of five, ten years, I don't think. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, not in the near future. So guys, Alex Curtis has asked, what degree are you doing at uni? So Alex, I am studying uh, to be an osteopath. I study at a place in Maidstone called the European School of Osteopathy. Um, it's in a place called Boxley, a really nice scenic um, countryside area. Really beautiful if you're ever going for a walk or a run in that area. I'd definitely recommend it. Um, but yeah, so if you're if you're a young sporty person or you're interested in healthcare definitely look at doing an osteopathy degree um yeah i don't really have any, <laughs> anything else to say about it but um it's really helping to broaden my knowledge not only about um, the human body but in terms of like sports as well so biomechanical um running injuries that sort of thing yeah it's really useful so um yeah that's the degree i'm doing at uni i'm in my second year and i've got two more to go once i finish this one so guys james noble has asked if you could only ever wear one brand of running shoes which brand would you pick? I think it's fairly obvious. Um, and I don't really want to be on the same kind of hype train that everyone's on, but it's going to be Nike. I think they're the best um, all-round shoes. I think their training shoes are a little bit lacking, but their race day and their easy day shoes are just top, top. Um, so yeah, I don't see myself picking anything other than Nike, unfortunately. But I would love to try other shoes. Um, so if any, any brands are looking to give some shoes to, to some YouTubers to, to review and try out, then I'd definitely be down for that. Um, just at the moment in my kind of financial situation, can you hear the parrot? Sorry about that. Yeah, in, in my kind of financial situation, I can't really afford to um, spend loads of money on brands that I I have never tried before and, and risk not liking them. So yeah, I'll stick with what I know, which is Nike. Um, and yeah, if I can only stick with one brand, it would be Nike. So Matt Stonia has asked, if you could do a track session with three athletes in the world, who would it be? 
and why. Okay, this is a tricky one. Um, so I think one off the bat is a really easy one. Jakob Ingebrigtsen would love to train with him. Um, I don't know how much um, he'll bring personality-wise. He seems like a pretty like laid-back, chill guy. Um, but just to train with him would just be insane. One guy that I would really like to train with is Emil Caress. All of the videos that I watch on YouTube and stuff, I always seem to pick up some tips and tricks from watching him run, watching him train. And I think he's just um, a great runner. Obviously, the um, the joint British record holder for the 10K on the road. And then also Jake Smith. He seems like such a nice guy. He's always sharing his knowledge. And he's also kind of... Um, obviously, it's easy to say now, but I'm trying to follow that sort of trajectory. He's doing similar times to me when he was my age. Obviously, he's, he's gone on a bit now and he's just kind of gone like that. So if I could replicate that even just a little bit then that'd be great but yeah they're probably my three favorite favorite runners at the moment kip chogi is probably up there as well but he hasn't done too much racing recently um although i'm going to be watching him on the tv um at the tokyo marathon at the weekend but yeah so emil caress jake smith and jacob ingabritson are my three favorite runners to watch and um, listen to at the moment but yeah that's probably going to be up for some sort of change over the next few months i imagine it's always changing I always just decide um different runners that I like all the time so yeah they're the three at the moment um but it'll it will likely change at some point in the future if you'd asked me two years ago I probably would have said something like Elliot Kipchoge, Mo Farah and Phil Sessman or something like that so yeah it's always changing and um yeah so James Noble he's already asked a question but he's asked another one and I think it's another good question he's asked if you could ever if you could break one world record in any distance what record would it be and I don't know about anyone else, but it has to be the marathon. For me, I think the marathon is one of those records that it kind of is it's a global thing. Everyone everyone knows the marathon. If you talk to anyone that's a, a non-runner, the first thing they'll say to you is, Have you ever done a marathon? It's really frustrating, but that's that's just shows you the kind of the the global importance of the marathon distance. So yeah, I would try um I would love to have the marathon world record over any other record. Um I think it's the hardest to take, the hardest to beat um and to take it from Kitchogi would just be uh would be insane obviously it's never ever going to happen um even if i was running out of my skin i couldn't get anywhere close to it so yeah unfortunately not but yeah the, the marathon if i could only take one world record so russ has asked your biggest inspiration in the running community so this is a bit of a tricky one i would probably say donald carter no <laughs> i'm joking um sorry donald um i would say i've already mentioned him in the video already and it was probably going to be Emil Cress. I've loved watching all of the Sweat Elite videos that can uh, like have him in them. I always learn stuff um, from watching him. He's so effortless, um, and I just I just love the whole vibe that he gives. He strikes me as such a nice guy, really chilled, laid back, but also got the, uh, a bit of banter going as well. So yeah, I really really like watching um, Emil Cress. And um, if he's ever in the race, I always um, try and sit down and watch it. So, but that's the thing. If you'd asked me a couple months ago, I probably would have said someone like Jake Smith. Um, all from the uh, the gang sign that he did at the London Marathon. That just kind of sparks my, my love for Jake Smith as well. But at the moment, it'll be Emil Caress, um, followed by Jake Smith just behind. So the next question is also from Russ. It, some people have, have got just hundreds of really good questions. And he's asked, where, why did you start uh, posting content on YouTube? So if I'm honest, Russ, it was just a bit of a kind of out on a whim. One day I was just... I'd been, I'd been thinking about it for a while, but kind of always had that... I didn't want to do it and it would be a complete flop and just kind of embarrass myself almost um but one day i just woke up with some just random amount of confidence and decided you know what i'm gonna do it the first few videos were not great at all but that's how you get the ball rolling you get the snow snowboard effect and then suddenly um you just it becomes kind of natural i guess so now i don't hesitate about whipping the camera out at events i don't care what people think if i look funny on the camera it doesn't bother me in the slightest um but yeah it's something i thought about doing over lockdown quite a lot i never actually got around to doing it so yeah, I don't really know. I just wanted to kind of affect the running community. I'd always, it sounds it sounds bad, but I'd always loved the idea of being like this this iconic, maybe this popular figure. Um, so yeah, that's why I started running, um, posting running content on YouTube. Um, but yeah, so if there's any young or older runners that are thinking, oh, should I start a YouTube channel? Do it. Trust me, it's so rewarding. And I can't tell you the buzz you get when you get those first few subscribers. When I first hit 50 subscribers, I was like, I was so hyped. So um, I'm now on 1.3 thousand, I think. And it's just, it's crazy. The support I get is absolutely bonkers. And it just, it's motivating me every day. So thank you guys for su subscribing. And um, yeah. So Kelman 
121 has asked, what is your favourite session? Alex Millard has already asked, uh, has also asked me this question. Um, but I'm only going to answer it once. If I'm honest, my favourite session is five times a K off three minutes on the track. Absolutely love that session. Um, something about doing kilometre reps. And I just like having that three minute rest. It, I just find that you, dro you drop your quickest times. Um, I'm not saying that's the best for improvement, but that's definitely the session that I enjoy the most, that five times a K, but you've got, you can't do it alone, you've got to do it with other people. Um, but there's other sessions that I'd like, um, a similar amount, sort of things like 10, 10 by 400s of 60 seconds. Um, I'll tell you what, I do love a, a good 10 by 200 session as well. Um, a bit of a burnout. Yeah, I do like that one. But yeah, five by a K off, the, off three minutes is definitely my favourite. So Matt Downsy has asked, your favourite race you have ever done, and this is really easy. And it's not going to take long to explain. It's the podium fight uh, under the lights 5k. Love the whole vibe of the event. Ran my, my PB, my best ever race that I've ever done. 14.40 for the 5k. Love the whole vibe. Love the organisation of the race. And got to race, um, like kind of toe the line with some really impeccable runners. So yeah, easy answer. The podium under the lights 5k. So guys, we're getting close to the end of the questions. Um, Kobe Beltran has asked, what is the session you hate the most? And if I'm honest, Kobe, I would say that there's no sessions that I really hate. Back when I used to train a lot more on the track before winter, I would say something maybe like 800s. There was something about the 800 distance. Like my body just couldn't cope with it. It was like it was it was like it was much quicker than a K pace, but almost kind of the same as a 400. But I don't know how to explain it. It was like I just didn't really enjoy it that much. And 300s have always been a distance I don't really like. There's something about it. Not quite a lap, not quite half a lap. Um, some silly, but yeah, they're the they're the distances I don't really like. But to be fair, I like most sessions, whatever whatever the coach puts on, um, on that night. Happy to do it. Um, and I think as long as whatever you're doing is kind of designed to help you improve, then you should be happy to do it, whatever. Um, so yeah, I know that what I'm doing at the moment is working. So I don't dislike it at all absolutely thoroughly enjoy every single session i do so so we've got some quick fire questions from my coach donald carter and um, i'm just going to quickly answer these these are just a bit of fun don't take any offense anyone from canterbury endurance so the first question is your best training partner this is going to have to be jamie keir doesn't push the pace on tempos tempos properly reps are always consistent so yeah jamie keir for the most um or the best training partner Question two is best style at training. And this is going to have to go, I think, to Adam Lane. I just like his his, his style. I always turns up in kind of matching gear. Got an earring as well. Like a bit. Of, I do like a bit of jewellery. Um, so, yeah, going to have to go to Adam Lane for that one. Question three is the biggest pace pusher. Now, this is just blatantly obvious. Louis Small can't help himself but push the pace. Question four is most likely to make the Olympics. I'll probably say at this moment in time it is Noah. Um, I think he's just absolutely smashing it at such a young age. So good on you, Noah. Keep it up. Um, question six is favourite session. Already answered this one, and it is five times a K. And then the final question is the cutest couple at Canterbury Endurance. And that's going to go unanswered for today because I'm not starting any arguments. So thank you guys for tuning in to today's video. I hope you've liked it. Um, and I'll hopefully do another one of these at I know 2k subscribers, maybe 5k subscribers, um, whenever you guys fancy it. And yeah, please like, subscribe, it's free for you and it means a lot to me. And I'll catch you in the next one.